Hey data fans, Reed here. Today I'm excited to show you another way you can utilize the time intelligence slicer I've done in previous videos. Now this time I'm going to show you how to use that in a visual to allow those time intelligence filters to propagate through a drill through action, allowing the users to navigate to a drill through page with a chosen set of date filters based on which cell of data they've selected in that matrix visual. So let's go ahead and hop into Power BI and get started. So you might notice the time intelligence groupings in here. Now the goal of this video is not to walk through how to create a disconnected table that has all of these time perspectives. Instead, we're gonna focus on the drill through. So if you wanna see the previous video for this, I'll go ahead and link you to that over on the right or down in the description of this video. But there are a couple of general enhancements that I built into this because I'm using those time intelligence windows in here from, if I open up my fields pane, my time intelligence selection, I'm using that on columns in this visual itself. I did add a couple of extra columns into here. On top of whatever the selection might be, whether or not it's month to date, quarter to date, prior quarter, and prior year, I also created a group whether or not it is calendar and fiscal just to give you some options to be able to filter around with it in the demo file. So if you select calendar, you can only get the calendar dates, and if you select fiscal, you get all of the fiscal time periods as well, even with an ability to further select it from the other slicer over here to whittle it down if you really wanted just to get a single value showing at a time in the table itself. So go ahead and clear both of these. But this came about from a client scenario where they wanted to be able to have time intelligence drill throughs where the drill through itself passed through a date filter that was coming from whatever column they had that had different date ranges in it. So as an example, if I was to come to year to date for home theater in here and right click and select drill through to either of these pages, it will navigate to that page and notice both at the top, I've created a card for filter date range to display what the actual date range is from that filter. And in the drill through selection in here, you can see that class, selection, which is year to date and the subcategory all have filters applied to them. And the setup for this, just like any other drill through is you go to the column you want to use as part of the drill through. In this case, that is my time intelligence selection. I added that right into here. And then that automatically connects with anything on the other pages that contains that. The same thing if I wanted to do fiscal year to date, I can right click on that cell here, go to drill through marketing details, and you can now see that it's starting at the beginning of the fiscal year for this. So only six days so far, but still it is applying that filter within this card and on the page. And the reason I included this up here is just so we can have some context and I wanted to make sure that it was very clear for the end users that they could understand what the actual date range is because if you actually checked as an example, the filters that are built into the visual itself, all you'll see is selection equals fiscal year to date, but you're not gonna give the actual date ranges. So I felt it was extra beneficial to include that specific range here at the top. And I do know that you can get similar effects by also having a synced slicer between the pages the client specifically wanted on their matrix table to have columns for different kind of intelligent time periods, in this case, like fiscal and everything else, which was using the time intelligence table that I built. And that also then allows them to click on any of those cells and then get the drill through there. So there are a couple of different ways to do that, either with slicers or this time intelligence table plus drill through, but at least it gives you another option to be able to navigate and just to see what other possibilities there are as far as passing and propagating filters through a drill through function. Please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. Now, if this is your first time to my channel or you want to see more of these awesome videos, please click that subscribe and notification button. Also, feel free to show your support by becoming a channel member. Last but not least, you can download the file for today's video from my blog files page using the link down below. So until next time.